Hi there everyone, Shauna Randolph here, spokesperson of the Edmonton Humane Society. You're this week at EHS for May the 24th, takes you both off site to help prevent dog bites in the community and also focuses inside our building on a new initiative that'll soon give you a virtual tour of this wonderful facility. First off site to a backyard in South Edmonton actually. The City of Edmonton marked National Bite Prevention Week with a media event to spread crucial messages to prevent dog bite. The City invited us, some dog organizations and representatives from EPCOR and Canada Post to educate that the onus is on the dog owners to make sure their pet doesn't bite. About 400 incidents of dog bites were reported to the City of Edmonton last year involving all kinds of dogs, small ones to big strong ones, since every dog has the potential to bite. And officials there are sure hundreds more dog bites just weren't reported. It's really important that, that citizens get educated on it's, it. It doesn't matter what dog or what size or anything like that or whether it was a dog on dog or a dog on human. They need to report those things so that we can educate the owners and work with our stakeholders to provide that education and training uh, in order for us to reduce the bites. Almost 30% of dogs surrendered to us by their owners are brought in because of behavioral issues including biting or aggression. The bottom line is that owners need to know their dogs, know the warning signs that they may be agitated and that they may bite and properly train them. Be aware that um, your dog is capable of biting and they're just protecting, they're protecting their property and we're strangers to them. Canada Post letter carrier Shirley Lannon was attacked last year while delivering mail in an Edmonton neighborhood. The owner was home but not able to control her dogs when Lannon came up to her door. Her bite wounds were horrible and she still has emotional scars. So it, was, it was quite traumatic. So it is crucial for dog owners to get the proper training and to learn the warning signs that their dog may bite. We offer behavior training and clinics to help. Just keep tabs on our website under behavior and training for the latest dates and times. Sign up and prevent a tragedy. And now to something pretty cool here in our shelter. The folks at Google are donating something huge to us, a virtual tour of our building and campus, which will be up in the near future as part of Google Tours. A photography crew was here this week snapping a few thousand pictures, then they'll produce the tour all at no cost. Well, we've always supported the Edmonton Humane Society and our family, and this just seemed like a very natural thing to do. We are very grateful. And it's our hope that people will see us online and come down in person if they haven't already. The tour will also have educational components tied in so people can learn more about what we do here for homeless animals and the community. Of course, we'll fill you in when the Google tour is ready and then you can get your own tour. That's your Week in Review. Join us again next Friday.